It's officially New York Quit Smoking Day in the Empire State, but you'd hardly know it judging by the number of smokers out and about on the streets of New York City. The New York State Health Department hopes smokers will soon have a change of heart considering the new cigarette tax. As of Tuesday, cigarettes will cost smokers an additional $1.25 per pack. A pack of cigarettes could cost a smoker as much as 8 to 10 bucks, nearly $3 of which goes straight to taxes. It's pretty outrageous. And smokers are fuming about the tax hike. I just think it's ridiculous. I'm an adult, and if I choose to smoke, then I'm going to smoke. I mean, you're taxing it is not going to change that aspect of my lifestyle. Will it stop people? No. It won't stop people from buying them. But health officials say studies prove otherwise. There's a relationship between total cigarette price and smoking. We can show you the graph. The, the higher the price is, the, there's a reduction in smoking. New Yorkers now pay the highest cigarette taxes in the nation, and health officials are proud of it. At a press conference Tuesday, they called the new tax a victory for the health of New Yorkers. What, what this will do in the long run is drive a lot of people to try to stop smoking. With the new city tax, a pack-a-day smoker could easily spend as much as $3,000 a year just on their smoking habit. The question is, does that break the bank enough to force them to stop? Are you still going to smoke after that? Probably not as much. Not as much. If it goes up high enough, it'll probably knock you off of smoking, and I more than likely would quit. Uh, raising the price on this might cut down on my smoking, but it's not going to eliminate it. There's a mythical land across the river called New Jersey and the taxes are a lot cheaper there. Obviously, the new tax is not welcome news for smokers, but if it forces one hand to put out that cigarette, that's a promising sign for health officials. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.